How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Uh, yeah, Brad. Brad, just from around. Just from around. He's uh, doing some reviews today. We just ripped through a bunch of Ola dubs, and we're stepping up to a some milk stout from uh, Canadian brewery, uh, Wellington. Um, uh, they're out of Guelph, Ontario. Uh, they were at the Albano Rana Beer Fest, which is where I got this beer. They gave me a couple beers, so that was awesome. Why did they give me a couple beers? Because I like their beer so much. So I've already had this, and I was a big fan of it. You now Brad's kind of like a, uh, what would I say, a, a stout slut, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, uh, kind of, sort of. Dark and heavy. Dark and heavy. Or... Well, no, the beer, not your other stuff that you're into. Oh, anyway, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he likes the stouts. I thought it was a great milk stout. So, yeah, we're going to give it a review. As far as what it says in a bottle, um, chocolate milk stout, uh, strong stout um, from, let's see, like I said, Guelph, Ontario, 7.2% alcohol by volume. And this bottle is sweating like crazy, not because it's super cold, because it is 85 degrees in my house, and it is super humid. That's why I'm sweating. Disregard, Brad, he doesn't sweat. <laughs> um, on the back here, we have Chocolate Milk Stout. is a sweet and robust stout brewed with fair trade cocoa powder, lactose, <coughs> and roasted malts, and a touch of flaked oats, with an inviting aroma of dark chocolate and silky smooth and filtered malt body. This unique stout is a, uh, a decadent treat to enjoy any time of the year. Um, that's pretty much it. Packaged on um, January uh, 22nd, 2015. So there you go. Um, not super old, but old enough. Yeah. Label-wise, it's cool. I really like uh, uh, Wellington's labels. Um, the labels are cool. For some reason, their logo, I love it. It's like a little plastic boot. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a cool little logo? Yeah. I just dig it. So I like, nice little rain boot, work boot. Yeah. There we and go. You, and you get a free growler. Free growler. Can't top that. Yeah. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Let's see what we got here. It's pouring like Brad likes it. Yes. You even, you even broke up the fancy glasses for this one. These are the, these are my new fancy glasses that I got from the Goodwill um, the other day. I got them. Uh, for, I got these two, and I got two of these weird shaped ones. I break them out for another review, and this uh, really weird thistle glass for ninety five cents. So that doesn't no. suck. It doesn't suck at all. So there you go. Um, for me, two fingers because I threw it in there. Here's a little bit less. Two fingers of a nice coffee ice cream color. It had super compact bubbles, infinitely creamy on top, and that, my friends, is a milk stout in color. Yeah, it's dark as Brad's soul. So yeah, let's see if I can get a nose into his head. Lactose, huge lactose, a lot of like, yeah. you know what I mean, big lactose, a little bit of cocoa, not too much. Um, I would say the malts are there, but not overly roasted. No. Um, but yeah, there's a sweet, sweet Smells. lactose. Yeah, yeah, it smells like a very nice, very drinkable milk stout. Let's dive right in there. Cheers. Mm. Like it, yeah, like right. it a lot. It's got a nice pop to it. <clears throat> like right it's about the two thirds away, or half, <clears throat> a third of the way in your palate, it's like it just throws you a bunch of flavors all at once, and then finishes clean as a whistle. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just it starts out nice and smooth, but I mean, it's got creaminess and body that I'm looking for in a milk stout. You know, it, it's a little sweet. Yeah, but you get the roast. You get it's just there. It's nice. Yeah, you get a little bit of roast. You get a little, you get a nice amount of that lactose in there. You get like, I want to say even like a little bit of cherry. Um, and then, um, at the end, at the end you're getting it. Yeah. It's just, I think it's really well made. Um, like I said, it's, it's probably optimal temperature, even though it looks like it's cold as hell. It's not. It feels cold as hell because it's a billion degrees in here. But it's right around 55 degrees. It's just a great beer, man. I dug it. These Canadians, these Canadians are starting to surprise me on what they're doing. Yeah, they know their way around beer. <coughs> some of them do, some of them don't. So yeah, but I mean, like we we we've, we've been lucking out. Well, I've been lucking out with you and Joe, <laughs> with like just finding some solid beers. Yeah, I mean, uh, rating wise, um, I would give this a ninety, easy ninety. Actually, I probably give it. A, I should probably give it a bigger score. Yeah, um, I mean, you, but you're such a stickler. I'm a stickler. It's like I'm. I'm like um. Zero to eighty nine is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I, no, it's like zero to seventy is easy. Seventy to eighty is okay. 
Uh, 80 to 80 to fucking 89 is, uh, but 90 to 95 is fucking impossible. And then 95 yeah. plus, you got just got to bring the wood, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. By plus, I mean 95 to 98, because I don't think I've ever given 99. I mean, maybe I gave a hearty a 99, but, yeah. Well, it depends on how late in the, the night you were drinking it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the best beer ever. So, yeah, uh, I'd give it a 90 overall. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, like, right in there. Probably, like, 92, a little bit more, uh... I mean, that was my style, and, you know, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm going to wax a little poetic. I mean, Guinness was the first for me that was the the original milk stout that was the one. This is like Guinness kicked up, you know, it, it's like... How does Guinness kicked up and kicked down and kicked sideways and then ran yeah, meat but grinder I'm, and then, well, and, and I, then I, I can't, made into a totally different beer? Sorry, maybe, maybe American Guinness kicked up. I can't. I'm not gonna bad mouth the original. I've never had it. Uh, but I, I mean, like, but, yeah. like, but I'm saying, like, this is kind of just what a, a milk stout should be. It's it's creamy. It's sweet. But like you said, then there's roast and there's a little bit of cherry. And it's super drinkable. It's yeah. not like super. I mean, the mouthfeel. What's the, what's the ABV on there? Anyway? Eight. I think seven point five. Seven point two. Yeah. Extremely it's, approachable. Yeah, and it's it, it, the mouthfeel. As far as stouts go, you wish you had a little bit more mouthfeel. But that what you trade off in a density, you get in fluffiness, but you also get in drinkability. It's super easy drinking. Yeah, it seems. I don't know. When, with with milk stouts, I don't necessarily go. Like I haven't really had a milk stout that's heavy with the mouthfeel. You know, yeah, I, that's more my oatmeal stouts, my my Russian imperials. That's what I'm looking for. Like when I want to chew something, yeah. a milk stout. Like I'm looking for something I can approach. I can drink. I mean, a seven point two percent alcohol. I can finish that bottle easy yeah. and just, you know. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> uh, so, value to availability. Uh, availability. A one, because you have to be in Ontario to pick it up, so that kind of sucks. Um, so, unless you live in upstate New York, uh, you poop out of luck. Um, a value, it was free, so it's a 10. No. <laughs> but seriously, I'm pretty sure at the LCBO, this is right around $10 Canadian, which is like negative $15 American or something like that. Not quite sure, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's a very reasonable price. The Wellington beers are priced right; they're really well done. And I'm not just saying that because they gave it to me. Um, I've been given beers by other people, <laughs> and I pooped on them. It's, yes. it's just I really do enjoy the beer. So, uh, just an absolutely well-made beer. If you like what, will you like this? If you like a pure, straight-up milk stout, you don't want over something overly sweet. You don't want something that's something other than a milk stout. This is very textbook but a high end of textbook like bigger than it's not just well made it's well made and very flavorful so there you go definition of definition of plus yeah. definition like oxford definition of not just like early yeah, dictionary yeah, definition yeah, of. yeah you're not you're not getting that cheap ass online dictionary yeah this is unabridged oxford yeah there you go unabridged he didn't throw out the big words anyway <laughs> uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can. Me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massa Beers, and all multitude of those places. Instagram at the general 451 And there you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice milk stat right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.